Oh, and this lash is not even attached. Nobody was gonna say anything? I just finished doing this makeup look, so it's on Instagram somewhere. Uh, you can see how I did it. I was playing around with a lot of the new Valentino stuff. Anyways, I knew I wanted to do an unboxing. And I hope I got a few of the things that I've been wanting to get because there's a few things I've been waiting for. Also, the salad is the Harvest Bowl from Sweet Green. And if you have not had this, this yet, you gotta try it. It's got like goat cheese. I'm not really supposed to be eating cheese, but I feel like goat cheese is a little bit better. Who knows? Um, but it has a little goat cheese in it. It has kale, sweet potatoes, apples, grilled chicken. I added avocado and I feel like that's everything, but the salad hits. <laughs> salad hits. You gotta get it next time you go. I think I have something in my teeth. Hold on. <laughs> I just, I think it's salad. Okay, I think I'm in focus. Hopefully, God, I'm in focus. I'm not trying to do this again, y'all. I just did that with coffee instead of water. Let me do it with water. Be in focus, D. My body's telling me to keep going. All right, so this is, um. so first up, we have Pharmacy. Honey Moon Glow Body. Ooh, I love this idea. It's a hydrating body serum, softens rough skin, and helps eliminate bumps with 10% lactic acid. Apply to clean skin, use nightly two to three times a week, may build up to more frequent use. Slight tingling may be experienced, do not use on face. I am a big fan of AHA on the body. I actually used to use, there was this one by um, acne.org, they just do an AHA, and I think it, I don't know if it's 12%, and I don't know if it was, I think it was 10% AHA, and I don't think it was AHA, BHA mix, but very strong, uh, makes your skin very sensitive to the sun, sun so um, interesting timing in terms of release time, but what it does do is it helps even out your skin. So when you're using this, make sure that you're using SPF, but really great idea. I have not seen this on the market from a big brand before, so this is kind of exciting. I'm gonna put this to the side. Put this to the side. I went again to my post office today and, she, and he was like, and she was like, oh girl, you slowing down. And I was like, I came, I came, I came here twice this week, and she was like, "Oh," and I was like, "I'll be back next week." She was like, "Okay now." <laughs> Ooh, shout out to Chanel. We got some Chanel in the building. Oh, a shower gel. Can we see that? Ooh, is it auto focusing? No, it's not auto focusing. But I look really. I'm like, it's like hands are holding this. Where's my shower gel? Let's see if I can open this up. Oh, this is so cool. It's like little ones. So you can use like, boom. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay, there it is. Chanel number five. These are individual packets. So look, I have a few of them. Boom. More. Probably about 20 in here total. Okay, what else do we have here? We have soap. Chanel number five soap. I love that they're re-releasing this because I feel like I haven't seen something Chanel number five in a minute. Ending. What's this? <gasps> a body. Ooh, y'all. Oh, I thought this was a body. <laughs> I'm so African. <laughs> y'all know those African body scrubs that you use all over the body? Like, I genuinely thought Chanel was doing that now, but um, okay, that's not what this was. This is a bag to carry your stuff in it. It's like a little beach bag. That's cute. Um, body gel. Okay, we have body gel, and then we have bath tablets you know what this is like the kind of thing that you put and display in your bathtub like look at this right like you're gonna put this in the bathroom and people are gonna be like oh she's got chanel in her bathroom like you're giving them expensive you're giving them elevated you're giving them an experience care to experience these products manufactured especially for you on the chanel five chanel factory five limited edition product line please read this guide with care it'll walk you through how to use the entire range for optimal results this is <gasps> bobby brown bobby brown i'm a big fan of bobby brown y'all i love bobby brown um stuff and i'm just really excited to be working with them so some of the things that i asked for them is i was like I got a lot of stuff from Bobby over the past year, but I was like, I want more things. Like I want more specific things. So I put in an order of the things that I wanted. So let me show you some of the things that I really wanted to get. These are the things that I wanted to add to my kit. So Bobby does some of the best golden undertone powders. Check this out. Check this out. Check, check me out. Check me out. Check me out. See that? How beautiful that is. 
I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. This is Warm Almond 6.5. I'm gonna put it on my face right now. Let's zoom in. Ooh, my makeup is intense, honey. I did it for the gram. Okay, so we're gonna put this on and so you can really see. You can see that, how that's, how that's like mattifying everything? And it's kind of bringing everything together. I love that. I'm using the sponge that it came with just so you can see what that does, but. You see how the side feels a little bit more elevated, a little bit more like lifted. And if you have any of like that under eye area that you really want to like smooth out, you just want to make sure that area is very matte. I definitely did not reapply any lipstick before I came on here, but we're not going to judge me for that because I'm human. And that's life. Nice, right? Okay, I'm super excited about this. So I asked for a bunch of different powders. Here we go, here we go now. That's Warm Almond 6.5. And then there's just other things I asked for, like blushes. Um, I asked for a lot of powders, y'all, like a ton of powders, because I'm gonna be adding these to my, um, I'm gonna be add adding these to my kit. I also asked for the Sheer Finish Pressed Powders. So that Skin Weightless Powder is the thing that you could use like all over instead of foundation. And then these are like beautiful. This is like the, let me show you this color. This color is so yellowy. It's beautiful underneath the eyes. It helps lift. It like really makes the skin look like super beautiful. It's great, especially if you're my skin tone and you want a little bit more yellow. I have yellow in my chest. You can kind of see it a little bit on my shoulders as well. When I bring that into the full makeup look, it looks like bomb. Bomb, bomb. Okay. I also asked for some long gel wear liners. I already have my makeup on right now, so it's not probably the best time for me to show you all of these, but the colors are amazing. This is... This is the color. This is the brown color that I really love. I guess this is why people put this in the center of their hand. Yeah, this is the brown color so people can really see that. But I brought, I got a couple different ones. I got some black, I got some caviar, I got some ink. I got a few different shades in here. Um, this is the blush that I asked for. Bobby does beautiful blushes, like really beautiful, easy breezy blushes, very easy to apply. This is in the color Pretty Pink. I'm actually gonna take a lot of this out of the boxes now because I don't need these boxes and I might as well, right? This is Pale Pink. Clementine, okay, I'm very excited about Clementine. I was like, ooh, very pretty. Clementine is gorgeous. This is called Apricot. It's a little bit more orange than it's showing up right there, but it's very pretty. Um, still more pink than orange, though. Peony. Okay. And this is... This is pale pink in a cream. So pretty. Okay, let's put a little bit of this on, because, like, why not? I love that I have this, like, really intense lash on right now. It didn't look this intense when I was doing my makeup on Instagram, but that such is life, you know? You know what else I like about this? I like that I have um, a little mirror at the top of this so I can really see what I'm doing, even though it's just blush, right? Like it has like a little piece there. Oh, and this lash is not even attached. Nobody was gonna say anything? Dude, I just take the lashes off. Maybe I'll just take these lashes off. Ooh, my eye looks bald. Do I have mascara in here? Do I have any mascara in here? No, no mascara, mostly just powders. I also asked for more Skin Long Wear. This is beautiful. If y'all have not tried the Skin Long Wear foundation, I don't know what you're waiting for. It photographs so gorgeous. I actually took a few photos of myself, like took some like at home headshots and I used Skin Long Wear and my skin turned out like so good. So good, so good. Let's hope mascara comes in one of these other boxes so we can apply that today all right let me go let me go grab more boxes i'll be right back i'm kind of happy i took those lashes off okay they were pu they were pretty but it was a lot okay so please find and close an assortment of lys beauty products to restock your kit can't wait to hear what you think okay i got two boxes from them so i don't know if these have two different things in them or if like they just were like because when they say restock your kit in my opinion they're probably giving me two you know what i mean of stuff but maybe i'm wrong We'll see. Kind of cute. They kept up with this triangle vibe. 
It's like a little triangle. Little triangle moment. What's in here? Matte bronzer. Interesting packaging. I wonder how like, with this being a triangle, well, I guess it could still like, it could be flat like that. You know what I mean? So it's not too hard to put in somewhere. Ooh, I love the color. Really nice color. This is a really good deep color. It's kind of more olive-y, so it would work for like deeper skin tones. Oh, this is also a bronzer. This is in the light color. This is a light colored bronzer. Okay, we've got a sculpting brush. Oh, good, we can try this right now. Maybe that's why they give you brushes in the, in the products whenever you get it, so that way you can like try it immediately. Very nice, I like this, it feels very good. Let's find a color that's gonna work for me. That other color was a little too deep for something I would normally use. This, this is a nice color too. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, they're going with these olive tones, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm thinking when I th think of olive, I think of something that's a little bit more of a contour product than a bronzer, um, but I'm not mad at it. I want to see what it looks like on the actual skin. This is called Strength. Oh, you know what? I feel like this is that this is that brand, that black owned brand. I believe that's now in um, Sephora. I think that's what these guys are. Glossy lip treatment oil, perfect, because I forgot to put on a lip. So we're gonna add a few of these things as we keep going today. As we go on. Oh, this is so pretty. Look how cute this is. Oh my God, this is adorable. Look at that. I love this. And then look, it has a little triangle top. I like the triangle vibe. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think that that's a really cool, wait, am I doing this wrong? Oh, it just needs to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. We're going to do a little bit of a really big applicator, so bigger than the actual lips, but because it has the points on it, it still feels like you're able to get, you know what's nice about this? You can get your whole lip at one time. I didn't even think that I needed that, but that makes a lot of sense. Mmm, feels good. Feels really good. Not sticky, but... It has some substance to it. I'm gonna see what other bronzer colors they have in here and then we're gonna choose a bronzer color to do. I just wanna like look at my options before I like commit. I think that's a philosophy I probably use in other parts of my life too. Courage. Um, tan. Ooh, translucent setting powder. We always need that. We always need a good translucent. Good shape for a translucent powder because I feel like this is easier than in my bag. Mmm, what's this? A blush? This might be a blush. Mmm, a cream blush. Ooh, what a nice color, passion. I could have used this this weekend, actually, this past weekend. I'm looking for more, um, I'm looking for more really pigmented blushes, especially for my deeper skin, because I feel like there's so many ashy blushes for a deep skin, and it's, like, quite frustrating. This is called Ambition. This is Ambition. And it's it's really frustrating because like, you know, I mean black women like blush too. <laughs> Darker skinned women love blush too. Gripping serum primer, okay. So the most important thing when it comes to a primer for me is just looking to see like how much does it actually mattify. Or how much does it smooth? Because this doesn't look like it's mattifying, but let's wait until it dries down. Got a stickiness to it, for sure. Got a smoothness to it, for sure. Moisturizing. It feels kind of like that milk primer. Definitely sticky. Definitely sticky, but it says gripping, so that makes it, ooh, yeah, there's a tackiness to it. I like that. Very interested to see both hands look quite similar. This looks a bit smoother, but good to know. Very sticky, interesting. I wonder how that feels on the actual face. Um, probably cool. Banana powder. Well, we all know how much we loved banana powder, right? For the under eye area. That used to be a big deal back in the day. People used to use that banana powder from Ben Nye all the time. And then I think that thing came out because we, we all started using banana powder because everybody had seen Mario Dednovic, who, who does Kim Kardashian's makeup, talk about it. And then he came out saying, like, he didn't actually use that. 
like sorry not sorry it was really kind of funny actually <laughs> the way he did that i was like you know we were all using that for years and we never said that then Ooh, what a nice color this is called kindness very pretty courage tan okay we're gonna try this and let's put her on right now can we tell the difference I don't know if this is dark enough. And it's reading more as a contour to me, but I'm not mad at it. But I think I would use this as a contour. Let me try something else. I'm gonna try something else. Cause typically when I like bronzers, what I like to do is I like to do something a little bit warmer. Let's try strength. This is strength. Yeah, I think strength is more my vibe. It's very pigmented though. So you just wanna make sure you you use it quite, you only need a little bit for this. I'm interested to see what this looks like in different lightings. The brushes are so soft, like they feel very luxe, very luxury. And the contour is definitely, well the bronzer is definitely going on beautifully. Smooth, not patchy at all which is really nice. And let's open up package number two from LYS. Oh, cool. So these are the Triple Fix Serum Foundation. Um, I'm not gonna be able to try foundation today because I already have makeup on, but uh, let's look and see. You know what, let me try something that's closer to my color because I don't wanna open up every single foundation. These are the ones that they sent me. I don't know if this is the full line or full range. If I had to guess, a lot of times now, companies don't really send out the full products anymore. And I kind of am not mad at it because truly like, we don't really need all that. Like, if I want this as an artist, I'll request. So it's nice to have like, just a little bit more conscious in terms of waste because there's nothing worse than like everything just going to waste. Oh, this is so pretty too. What is this called? Confident. Nice, I love this. I'm really excited to try it. I think the most exciting thing for me in this collection is definitely the, uh, the cream blushes. This is called Empower. Ooh, stunning. Stunning. I would have loved to use, I, next time I have a deeper skin client, I'm 100% gonna take the LYS blushes with me. Um, I did a campaign last week with uh, Indique and I think it could have been really beautiful on the campaign. I had a, a, a couple uh, deeper skin models on that campaign that these would have looked really beautiful on. This is also called, this is called Self Love. Self Love. Harmony, it's a medium bronzer. So that way you have, this is actually a nice color. I should have probably used this one, but it's okay. Next time we, next time we know. Strength is really pretty too though. Like look how pretty that is. It's like, it's giving you, it's giving you sculpted. It's giving you lifted. So this is Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I'm gonna put a little bit of this serum foundation just on the back of my hand because I already put that, um, that uh, primer there and I just wanna see what the, oh, this looks so pretty. Oh my God, let's see if I can get y'all to focus on that. Ooh, that is good. I'm not mad at that. I'm excited to see what this looks like on my face. But that's pretty, I like that a lot. It looks great. We have a, a lot more colors in here, so I'm gonna be able to mix and do my thing. You know how much I love to mix foundations. I always mix a foundation. Doesn't matter what brand it is, it's gonna be mixed. It's gonna be custom. You gonna get that. You will get that custom blend. Okay, so, boom. We didn't have a mascara in here, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, we've got three more packages. Stay with me, people. I hope everybody's having a great week. Little eye itch there. Oh, this is exciting. I asked these guys for this. Okay, so my friend Katie Jane Hughes, who's also, um, she she's really big on Instagram and she is a great uh, makeup artist and she connected with this company called Big Softy and they do like um, lights that you can take with you, which is really cool. So this is the surface adhesive mount. This is the way to um, connect it to your camera. So I guess you can connect it. You connect it like this maybe? Camera mount. Okay, so this is the camera shoe, the camera adhesive, and then there's a light that it comes with, which is really exciting. So. It's supposed to be pretty portable, easy to carry, like easy to... Okay, this is a tight fit. 
So this is the light. It's a soft light diffusion panel. And, ow. And this is what you do. You can just take it with you places. Isn't this quite cool? So let me see if I can turn it on for you guys right now. Oh, there it is. Oh, look, right now. It would, it would work so well. Wait. See? Hi. That's so much better. Maybe we should just leave this up for the rest of the tutorial, right? We might need to charge this now. Oh yeah, it needs to be charged, but how cool, right? Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. So anyways, but it's a light that you can take with you um, and it does all the cool things with it and you can put it at different places, so that's great. I could actually hang it up right here on this tree. Okay, cool, I figured it out. Okay, so now I think I can clip this somewhere. It feels like it should be on top of my phone. Actually, let me do this. I'll show you what, the, what this looks like recording with my phone. I'll just insert the video. Oh wow, I just have my whole stomach out. Okay, I'm glad y'all can't see that up there. I need some translucent powder, geez Louise. We're gonna turn on the light. Anyways, it, okay, so it died, so I can't do that, but you, you, saw, you saw it, you saw it. We'll, we'll use it later. Okay. okay, so this is a few hours later, so the lighting isn't exactly the same, but I had to charge it. So, okay, so this is off, and this is on. Okay, that's the warm setting, that's the cool setting, Oh no, I think this is the warm setting. This must be the mix. This is the mix. This is the cool. This is the warm. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so that's Big Softy. Thank you for sending me that. I'm very excited about that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is this is, oh, these are so nice. This is Double Date by Wander Beauty. These are their cream blushes. I was just talking about cream blushes. I'm so happy to see so many more companies making cream blushes. I love them. An understated, underutilized thing. Ooh, and come through Wander Beauty giving us colors for the girls. This is um really nice. What a beautiful color, huh? As I'm talking about putting on stuff that has a good amount of color to it. You know what else I think we need? Translucent powder. Let me pull out that LYS powder, but. This is beautiful. Oh my God, this is so nice. Okay, let's try a little bit of translucent. Let me get my translucent powder from LYS. And this is gonna be, actually this is our last package. So this is called Resilience. This is the translucent that I showed you earlier. You can see that it's like, it looks white. It's not. Ooh, uh, come on translucent. So as you know, I always test out the products like right now, like we're gonna go through it, but you know how it is. I have to try it, I have to decide what I like and what I don't like, and I won't really know that until after using it a few times. I also like to test the wearability of a product. So if you see me using something multiple times, you know for sure if I like it or not. If you don't see me using it again, it's like my polite way of just being like, that was a no for me, dog. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did say I was gonna put on mascara, but like, it's okay. I feel like my eyes are defined enough. It's fine. We've come to the end. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you have any questions, of course, leave them below and I will answer them. And um, I'll see you again pretty soon. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also um, share this video with a friend if you want. Um, testing a few things out and just trying to decide what a good home for unboxing is. And it just feels like this might be it. Feels really good. Does it feel good to you? Let me know in the comments below. Peace. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm looking everywhere but the camera. Okay, bye. <laughs>